Imagine an aircraft so fast it could outrun almost anything in the sky. It was designed to fly at speeds exceeding three times the speed of sound. Its massive wings and futuristic lines made it look like a spaceship on Earth. Only a handful were ever built. This aircraft was intended to change strategic bombing forever. Despite its advanced technology, it never saw combat. The risks of supersonic flight and high-altitude operation were immense. Engineers pushed materials and aerodynamics to their limits. It became a symbol of Cold War ambition and innovation. This aircraft is the North American XB-70 Valkyrie. The XB-70 was conceived during the late 1950s as a strategic bomber for the United States Air Force. Nuclear deterrence drove its development. Planners envisioned an aircraft that could penetrate Soviet airspace at Mach 3. Its speed would make it nearly untouchable to interceptors. Early designs explored canards, delta wings, and innovative materials. North American Aviation was awarded the contract to build the prototypes. The company had extensive experience with large bombers. Designers faced unprecedented engineering challenges. Heat, air pressure, and stability at Mach 3 were critical concerns. Every component had to be tested rigorously. The initial concept called for six aircraft, but funding limited production. Only two prototypes were ultimately completed. Each cost tens of millions of dollars in 1960s funding. The aircraft were heavily instrumented for data collection. Test flights would push both pilots and engineers to extremes. Supersonic capability required radical material choices. Stainless steel and titanium were incorporated into the structure. Conventional aluminum could not withstand sustained high-speed flight. Thermal expansion had to be carefully accounted for. Designers also had to balance weight and lift for takeoff. The aircraft used a delta wing configuration. This design optimized supersonic cruise and stability at high altitudes. Variable geometry wingtips were introduced for improved control. Aerodynamic efficiency was critical at speeds above Mach 3. Engineers studied wind tunnel data extensively. Early flight testing focused on subsonic handling. Takeoff and landing were challenging with the massive delta wings. Pilots trained extensively in simulators. Safety protocols were strict. The goal was to ensure the aircraft could operate reliably before pushing to supersonic speeds. The XB-70 was powered by six General Electric YJ-93 turbojet engines. Each engine produced over 30,000 pounds of thrust. Combined, they enabled sustained flight at Mach 3. Engine placement and airflow management were critical. Any imbalance could be catastrophic. The aircraft's maximum altitude exceeded 70,000 feet. This placed it above most air defense systems. Pressurization and life support systems had to support pilots at extreme altitudes. Cockpit instrumentation was advanced for the era. Every system was redundant to ensure safety. Variable geometry wingtips could fold downward during high-speed flight. This increased stability and reduced drag. At low speeds, the wings returned to a normal angle for maneuverability. This innovation improved both supersonic cruise and subsonic handling. It became a signature feature of the XB-70. Thermal stresses were a constant challenge. Skin temperatures exceeded 600 degrees Fahrenheit at Mach 3. Materials expanded significantly, affecting tolerances. Engineers had to design joints and fasteners for heat. Extensive testing ensured structural integrity. The aircraft carried limited payloads for testing. It was intended to eventually deliver nuclear weapons. Prototype missions focused on performance data collection. Instruments measured airflow, stress, and aerodynamic forces. Flight data would inform future bomber development. Flight control at supersonic speeds was demanding. Small inputs produced large effects due to air density changes. Pilots relied on careful planning and precision. 
minor errors could have serious consequences. Training was essential before full-speed runs. The XB-70 was intended to redefine strategic bombing during the Cold War. Its speed and altitude would make interception nearly impossible. Air defense systems of the 1960s could not reach it. The aircraft could fly at over 2,000 miles per hour. Nuclear delivery at high altitude was its envisioned primary mission. Pilots trained extensively to operate under extreme conditions. Flight testing revealed both promise and risk. Supersonic stability was excellent in theory, but minor errors at Mach 3 were dangerous. Engines produced incredible thrust but required careful management. Any miscalculation could damage the aircraft. Test pilots pushed the envelope on each flight. Data collection was meticulous and continuous. The XB-70 also served as a platform for aeronautical research. Variable wingtips allowed engineers to study high-speed stability. Aerodynamic efficiency at supersonic speeds was carefully measured. Materials performance under heat stress was tested constantly. Instrumentation captured every nuance of flight. Lessons learned influenced future bombers. Despite its promise, the program faced political and financial challenges. Costs escalated dramatically with each prototype. Air Force priorities shifted toward missiles and satellites. Only two aircraft were completed and flown extensively. The XB-70's role as a combat bomber was effectively canceled. The aircraft's influence remained in its advanced design. The aircraft demonstrated extreme maneuvering capability for a bomber. High-altitude turns required precise control inputs. Pilots wore pressure suits and relied on life support systems. Each mission was meticulously planned to minimize risk. Observers marveled at its grace at Mach 3. The aircraft maintained stability even in challenging conditions. International observers closely monitored the program. The Soviets were aware of the XB-70's capabilities. It symbolized U.S. technological prowess during tense years. Propaganda emphasized American innovation and power. The aircraft was more than a bomber. It was a statement. Its presence influenced strategic thinking globally. By the end of its operational testing, the XB-70 had achieved groundbreaking performance. Speed, altitude, and control set new records. It pushed engineering boundaries in aerodynamics and materials. The aircraft remained unique in both design and ambition. Flight data informed later bomber and spaceplane programs. Its legacy as a technological marvel was established. The XB-70 pushed material science to its limits. Stainless steel and titanium were used in critical areas to withstand extreme heat. Expansion and contraction had to be precisely accounted for. Engineers developed new fasteners and joints to maintain integrity. Even minor thermal miscalculations could jeopardize the aircraft. Every structural decision was tested rigorously. Its six turbojet engines provided unprecedented thrust. The YJ-93 engines allowed sustained flight at Mach 3. Airflow management and intake design were critical to maintain performance. Engine failures could be catastrophic at high altitude. Engineers constantly monitored thermodynamic and aerodynamic data. The propulsion system became a defining feature of the aircraft. The variable geometry wingtips were revolutionary. Drooping tips improved supersonic stability and lift. At low speeds, the wingtips returned to normal for better handling. This adaptability improved both test safety and efficiency. The system required extensive hydraulics and precision engineering. Its design informed later experimental aircraft concepts. Instrumentation on board the XB-70 was extremely advanced. Hundreds of sensors measured temperature, stress, and air pressure. Cameras and radar captured flight characteristics. Data was relayed to ground control in real time. Test pilots acted as both operators and research subjects. 
Each flight produced thousands of critical data points. Cockpit design prioritized pilot safety and performance. Pressurization and environmental controls maintained life support at extreme altitude. Pilots wore partial pressure suits for additional safety. Flight controls were redundant to prevent failures. Navigation systems were cutting edge for the 1960s. The cockpit was effectively a mobile laboratory. Aerodynamic research conducted with the XB-70 influenced later aircraft. Insights into shockwave behavior were applied to future bombers. Variable geometry and delta wing design informed supersonic programs. Engineers studied supersonic drag reduction extensively. Lessons learned helped develop future reconnaissance and space planes. The XB-70 became a cornerstone for experimental aeronautics. The aircraft also served as a public symbol of technological ambition. It appeared at air shows and demonstrations. Observers marveled at its size and performance. Media coverage highlighted American innovation during the Cold War. Even in testing, it was an icon of speed and engineering. Its technological contributions extended far beyond its original purpose. The XB-70 Valkyrie remains one of the most ambitious aircraft ever built. It pushed supersonic flight, materials, and aerodynamics to extremes. Only two prototypes were ever completed, making it extremely rare. Despite never seeing combat, its achievements were groundbreaking. The aircraft proved that sustained Mach 3 flight was possible. It influenced every high-speed bomber and space plane design that followed. Its innovations in material science had lasting effects. Titanium and stainless steel applications informed future aircraft. Thermal expansion and stress solutions were studied for decades. Engineers learned how to design for extreme speeds and altitudes. Flight data guided not only military programs but also NASA projects. The XB-70's design principles remain relevant today. Variable geometry wings left a lasting mark on aerospace engineering. Supersonic stability techniques influenced experimental aircraft worldwide. Designers studied the drooping wingtips for decades. Control and lift at high speeds became better understood. These lessons fed into stealth and high-speed bomber programs. The aircraft demonstrated practical solutions to theoretical challenges. The aircraft also played a symbolic role during the Cold War. It showcased American technological might to allies and adversaries alike. It demonstrated that the U.S. could build aircraft beyond existing limits. Even prototypes carried significant political weight. Its presence altered strategic calculations and inspired aerospace ambition. Public appearances made the XB-70 an icon of innovation. The Valkyrie informed both military and scientific pursuits. Data from test flights contributed to supersonic research. Aerodynamic, propulsion, and structural knowledge advanced dramatically. Pilots and engineers gained unique experience operating at extreme altitudes. These lessons were carried into future bomber and spaceplane programs. The aircraft bridged the gap between theory and practical achievement. Although the program was ultimately canceled, its influence persisted. Supersonic reconnaissance and bomber designs adopted many of its features. Lessons learned from high-speed flight guided subsequent projects. NASA and military research benefited from XB-70 data. The aircraft showed what could be achieved with bold ambition. Its legacy remains both technological and inspirational. Today, the XB-70 is remembered as an engineering marvel. It symbolizes a period when speed and altitude were paramount. Few aircraft have combined innovation, risk, and ambition so effectively. Museums and historians preserve its story for future generations. Even decades later, it continues to inspire aerospace engineers worldwide. Its legacy as a record-breaking, revolutionary aircraft is secure.